Way more Apple news to cover, including the amount of RAM in each of the iPhones, the Apple November event. Yes, that is coming with way more products and Apple AirTags back in the news because these may actually be coming before the end of this year. And also Apple's absolute genius when it comes to the iPhone 12, a feature that I think is going to really create a lot of value for Apple and also its users. Anyway, let's first come on to some leaked not really unboxings, but we get our first look at some of the retail boxes for the iPhone 12. And remember, this is a new design this year for the box because yeah, no earphones and no charger in the box. But this is the new design, a much thinner design, basically just the phone, some stickers and leaflets, and that's pretty much it. A couple of these videos coming from Chinese social networks. So I guess maybe some leaks from China for these boxes. But this is going to be what you're going to be looking at if you are ordering an iPhone 12. We also get this news from Mac Rumors and a few other places about the RAM in the iPhone 12. So the iPhone 12 mini and iPhone 12 coming with four gigabytes of RAM. This was found in some code by Mac Rumors, And then the iPhone 12 Pro and Pro Max coming with six gigabytes of RAM. And that's quite a big difference between the phones. This is actually going to make quite a big difference in terms of some of the features that the phones can have. So we know that Apple really pushed um, Apple Raw in the Pro models. This is essentially a mix between Apple's amazing HDR for both video and photo, but also Raw as well. And Raw is basically a way of capturing images completely uncompressed. So it takes up a massive amount of system memory and storage. So we know that the Pro models only are getting Apple Raw initially and some people were saying, well, maybe Apple could issue an update to the non-Pro models to actually get this. It looks like because of the big RAM difference, this may not actually be the case. Obviously, we don't know too much about Apple's new method for doing this. Apple Raw is kind of new, so we don't really know how much system memory it takes up, but it looks like Apple are obviously giving the Pro models a lot more RAM, maybe because of this, Obviously, if you shoot video, this is super exciting because it's a way to shoot raw video, which is just crazy, to be honest. This is usually reserved for the most expensive DSLR cameras, like two and a half thousand bucks and up. So getting this in the iPhone is super exciting if you shoot video at all or if you're into that. But it is safe to assume that maybe this year only the Pro models will get this because six gigabytes of RAM in those is a big jump up from the four gigabytes that you get in the non-Pro variants. Moving on though to the possible November launch event, and I say possible, I guess it's probable now. Mark Gurman telling us that this is definitely happening. And Apple have already said that some Apple Silicon based Macs are coming before the end of the year. So November is going to be another launch event. Right now it's not been confirmed by rumors or leaks which products these new Apple Silicon chips are going into. Apple possibly bringing back the new 12 inch form factor for that, or a possible new 24 inch iMac. That definitely is coming, but something else that might be coming, John Presser telling us anyway, is AirTags. And he's gone all in on this leak. He really is focusing on the AirTags launch. And actually, some evidence suggests they might be coming in November as well. So Apple are apparently releasing iOS 14.3 in November, and that version of iOS will carry support for AirTags. So if that version carries support for AirTags, then obviously they do need the physical product to support. So this lends credence to AirTags actually coming in November, right before Christmas. We also have these amazing concepts of AirTags by Concept Creator, link in description, showing us what they'll be like. And actually, they look really huge in these concepts, but according to John Prosser anyway, these should be around the same size as a bottle cap. So actually really small. And that makes a lot of sense because these are basically going to be attached to certain other things, possibly keys, so they shouldn't really be too big. But with the addition of AirTags and the ultra wideband chip inside, you should be able to locate the AirTag with incredible accuracy. So yeah, watch out for these at a November launch as well. And then we come to Apple's genius. And I sent out this tweet yesterday, which kind of blew up unexpectedly, but I guess a lot of people agree with me. And that is one of the main new features of the iPhone this year. And all iPhones is this MagSafe charging. It's a really simple concept and yeah, maybe it's more expensive than five cents to put these magnets in in this whole system, but you get the point. Apple have literally created a brand new accessories market. There are going to be so many accessories, not just chargers, but other things like tripods. 
and many other accessories that I can't think of, but I'm sure the accessory makers will. Just something this simple is going to change the way that people use their phones. There's gonna be a ton of applications, all with these simple magnets in the back of the iPhone 12. With that said, anyway, I am getting the iPhone 12 Pro, so if you want to subscribe and see the camera tests, and everything else in the reviews with that. Let me know what you wanna see in the videos and any questions that you have, and I'll try to include those. Subscribe for that, because that is coming. That is it for your short Apple news this time though. Thank you for watching, thumbs up if you liked it, and I'll see you in the next one.